Early on May 1st, several missiles launched from the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights hit positions of the Syrian army near Tel Ahmar and Qunetra city. The strike reportedly led to no casualties among Syrian personnel, but destroyed several pieces of military equipment. This was the second Israeli strike on Syria in less than a week. On April 27th, Israeli airstrikes hit the countryside of Damascus, including the Al Masse airport. Pro-Israeli sources claim that underground facilities of the Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps were the target. Meanwhile, a new drama is developing in the militant-held part of Greater Idlib. After briefly clashing with the Turkish army near Nirab, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham found themselves in the center of a new scandal. On April 30th, the group's fighters were confronted by supporters of other radical groups in the town of Marat al nasan in western Aleppo. According to pro-opposition sources, the main reason of tensions is the decision of Hayat Tahrir al-Sham to open a crossing for commercial purposes to the government-held area. This initiative faced resistance among militant groups directly controlled by Turkey. The Turkish army even tried to block a road towards Marat al nasan However, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham militants were able to suppress the protest and the crossing was opened. The further protests that continued on May 1st forced Hayat Tahrir al-Sham to close the crossing. Earlier in April, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham tried to open a similar crossing near Sarakib, but this attempt was also blocked by Turkish-led forces. Representatives of Hayat Tahrir al-Sham claim that the opening of such crossings is vital to contain the developing economic crisis in the militant-held area. According to them, a large part of the goods produced within the militant-held area, first of all food, is being sold in the government-controlled territory.